All right, let's continue see our stars if you're watching this later on YouTube. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I've been having a lot of fun with this one. Okay. I'm just debating whether I should go back or not. I'm healed up, right? Kind of. <laughs> okay. I need the strategy that I did before, which is just focus down the ants. Okay, um... Hey, nice. Uh, this is unfortunate, but I guess we can probably pull it off. Nice. Ooh, it's one of these things. Put that there. Oh, it's timed. Ah. Okay, got it. Combo skill Soul of Rain. Okay. This is the life. Mannons are nice. Man, you know, is he here? Take this. <laughs> this is the life. This is the life. This is the life. This is the life. Okay. Persistence. I think we've reached the end of the path. Oh, that's the sleeping dragon they were talking about. Okay, we've reached the outpost. The Elder hasn't returned! Malcomud will kill us all! Run! Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course! They're Solstice Warriors! Gal! It's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcomod, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our jo 
It's our job, it is, to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. But now Malcolmite has taken over the mine, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world! What's more, he clogged the tunnel, powering the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcolmite's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... And... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The... So the Elder went in to try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolmite is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your Elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck, thank you. Everyone stop panicking! Solstice warriors are here to solve everything. The Elder will return. Malcolmite won't kill us all. Yay! I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. There's the elevator. Is there anything I can buy? Welcome to the Sleepy Mason. Would you like to rest in our geothermal room? Yeah, sure. I wonder if I get anything special for resting. Oh. I can sit around and talk. Fighting an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. I hope we can help the Molkins. They seem so peaceful. I thought for a sec I could pick those shrooms. Still 10 out of 10 meals. Alright, well. Let's just make sure everyone's back on full health. to be a vendor somewhere here. The water mill stopped functioning after Malcolm had clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go into the mines and help? So much to learn here. I can't sleep since Malcolm had took over these mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. Okay, that's got a shopping bag on it. Okay. Already got that equipped. Basic armor. Already equipped. Miner's smock. Oh, that's a KO cure. But I can't buy it. Ensures double hits on regular attacks. Chance of automatically timing blocks. Negates enemy defense while casting. Decreases damage taken. But see, here's the thing. Like, are they seen as a crutch or is it... I think it's just a setting. Because it's just to make the game easier. Nah. Alright. You really saw this warriors? That's so cool. Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I 
I can't let my kids go outside of her than going on. It's too dangerous. Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Grown-ups are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. If the tunnels keep getting clogged with wind, uh, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. Ancient Malkin Cloak? It's a key item. Takes might get a story from this. Okay, got it. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he does is paint all day long. This will be my best work ever. This device looks like a pump of sorts. There's definitely something to be seen there. Oh, hold on. If this sculpture represents something, it is probably something abstract. I guess I can't get it to open the store. Interesting. the mine entry. Oh, hold on. Good job, kid. Were my chests okay? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It's the least I could offer as payment. Thanks for the help. What help? I didn't know what you wanted. I didn't talk to this guy before I did the thing. Careful on the mines, apparently someone spotted a monster or a salamander. Security rules, reminder, no jumping down. It's either a case of, well... Just disregard the rules or there's an actual way down. <laughs> Disregard the rules it is. Are you the elder? I am, I am. And you are? Solstice Warriors, we're here to confront Malcomud. My, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going to fix the problem. So now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a situation. Um, the solution. Don't sweat it, Elder, we got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there, Malcolm Elder is one mighty wizard. See a paw on the ground. Okay, well this will explain it. We'll probably get something that'll allow us to push stuff. What's this? Hang on, there's a sign. Mine is break room. 
Oh, campfire here. Hey there, need something for the road? I wonder if they were selling it cheaper, potentially. I don't know. Oh boy, it's everyone's favorite enemies. Oops. Ah. Okay, so you can deflect most of the time. have to be quick with the bottom presses. Three eggs. I see a side passage there. Explains it. Green leaf, what does that do? Max HP plus 15, nope. Goes to Gaul. The tank. Up. Nice. How do I get up there? Solve any of the ore just in case it's significant. Dairy. Doesn't seem I can do anything in this room yet. I think it's gonna drop something from 
this locked door. What the hell? Jeez. Oh. I won't be able to stop it. I can't use Nourish. Okay. Um, let's just do that. Just prepare for the worst here. Christ. I'm trying to think how to best do this. Be able to stop it again. Nice blocking. Um, wow, this is annoying. Oh no, cool, we got it. We need this now. I kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> Spin! Oh. You brought power back. I suppose I'll be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop Malcolm it. Okay. Let's go into the break room real quick. I don't have team heal. Let's just go with that.
Okay, nothing here. So what did this achieve exactly? Didn't open that door up there. Hey, Sages, how's it going? Maybe I missed the obvious. Oh, I just jumped down. Okay. Uh, get the ant first. Oh, shit. I thought I was targeting the ant. Um, drop that. It's still fine, I can just use fire to take them out. Are you not gonna like how many puzzles are on this game? I don't know. <laughs> Depends how you feel about puzzles in general. I don't really know much about your personal tastes or tolerances. I mean, so far it's fine, it's just... RPG stuff. It's all relative. Ah. I still haven't gotten the timing of that shit down. I wonder if I get more XP if I let them summon. <sighs> so one attack I still haven't gotten completely down. So far I'm enjoying the game, it's... It's nice looking and yeah, I like the combat system. I don't think it's been over the top of puzzles, I think the one critique I can give it is just... I think the starting segment did drag on just a little for me. It just leaned pretty heavy into tutorial very early on. Like, I'd say almost the first hour is tutorial. But once it starts up, it's fine. I guess I don't have the power to move this yet. Maybe 40 minutes, an hour might be exaggerating, but it's, it's definitely longer than I would have liked. Kind of reminds me of Golden Sun. This game does draw a lot of inspirations from those kind of RPGs. Like, I feel Chrono Trigger vibes, I feel Secret of Mana, I feel a little bit of Final Fantasy, but it's its own thing.
I mean, when it comes to this genre, it's like most things have been done. <laughs> it's it's pretty hard to revolutionize this sort of thing. But I think it's got enough character of its own. I guess it's borrowing a little bit from Zelda, huh? Big chest in a dungeon. There they go. I haven't played Golden Sun, so... I don't know really much about it, but... It's just from that era of GBA games. I wish I had a Game Boy Advance at the time. It would have been nice. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Um. Hang on. I love the music. The, uh... The producer... Well, music producer from Chrono Trigger is involved. They don't do the whole soundtrack, but they do bits and pieces. Hang on. No, don't do that. I can't cancel it. Shit. I'll just use one, it's fine. I mean, this is a minor boss. It's not dead, it just ran away. Okay, let's be on our guard. I was warned of the salamander. I can't get back up there. Now that I think about it, when there's puzzles to be had, it's kind of complexity is like Zelda. It's not overtly complex. Okay. Well, now I can open that door. A link to the past can be very complex. I guess I can't really comment on that because I'm a bit biased in that regard because I grew up with that game and I've played that game to death and I know it like the back of my hand. And I guess I don't have the memories of how much effort it took me to solve. So I, I can't, I can't say, you know. I think, if I was to say one dungeon that definitely sucked, or two, in terms of problem solving, the ice dungeon and, um, the one in the, uh, what's it called? What did I call it? But the woods in the dark world. You can't find where to get into one of the temples you may have done in the past, but you can't remember now. Ah, okay. Have you tried talking to the fortune teller? Sometimes the fortune teller helps. But because I don't really have any recollection of how much I struggled to 
to solve some of that stuff. I, I guess I can't really say how easy it is. I know I definitely struggled with the original Legend of Zelda more. The original Legend of Zelda, yeah, took me forever to finish correctly. But I guess that one's not so much puzzles as just figuring out obs the obscurities of it. Hang on. I don't want to just flat out ask what dungeon, because, you know, that's probably the least spoiler clue I can give is just the fortune teller. I know it helps a little, I just can't remember to what extent. And I remember just, that was my go-to. Because my cousin sure as hell wouldn't tell me anything. <laughs> He'd be like, figure it out. Ever heard of Eichenfell? Eichenfell. What's that name ring a bell? I think I. Uh, I've had this mentioned once before. The visuals look familiar, but I haven't played it. But the visuals look familiar. The thing with me and RPG games is, like, I like the RPG games that I play, but I'm extremely picky about them. And it's just because some of them can be very long experiences. So if I'm going to invest my time into an experience that's long, it has to be of a particular caliber or a visual style that I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's me. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I have to stop the ant. Zail. I can't stop everything. I'm actually not capable of stopping. Well, the ant is the only thing I stopped, so that's probably the most important one. Okay, hang on. What I can probably do... Oh my god, he survived. Okay, um... <laughs> Problem! on the sun ball. I hope that a two power one is enough. Okay. Sort of solved.
Let's just make sure Gaal survives. I won't be able to stop that, but it's fine. One thing I've really been enjoying is this... the system of, like, down... how downing works. Like, your ally gets back up after a certain number of turns and you just have to survive. There are... there's still resurrect items, but just that system's pretty nice. And then, if it happens again, it means it takes them longer to get back up. I'm gonna stop this one. Ah. I like how this feels like Zelda a little bit, in the problem-solving regards. attack. Ooh. It's alright, she'll get a heal. I think the game's difficulty is pretty good. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard. Ah, shit, they opened up a sun. Oh, that's a bad roll. I don't think I'll be able to stop everything. Zell needs to attack. Wait, who has... That one has three?
What was the item that I just got? This one. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a requirement right now. Okay. I don't want team down right away. Sunball's not up. Where's the boomerang skull? I'm not personally a fan of it. Can't get the timing correct. But it's this one. For once, I got the timing right. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. That's funny. Oh, fuck. No shit, it's, it's the first time I've actually gotten that attack off correctly. Okay. Oh. No, I'm not saying the attack is shit. I'm just shit at pulling it off. <laughs> that's that's all. It's got nothing to do with the attack's power. It's me. I just suck at anything that has sort of a rhythm aspect to it. I was meant to use this. I fucked up. It's okay. It'll still work out. Okay, now well, let's just save it. I'm kind of building her to be more physical, whereas in this dude, I'm building to be a caster. This guy is just straight up tank. And so I'm making him a sponge, effectively. <laughs> I, I like, I like the, the system, because you can play it however you want. So, I mean, you know, no character is strictly a mage. One of them is a monk, another one's a sword fighter, and the other one is a battle cook. So it's not complex, but it's got enough complexities that I'm liking it. It's still very early on, so... They have started introducing the comboed attacks where you do pairings, so... It does share that with Chrono Trigger. It's just, I guess, how far that goes is remain to be said. 
I don't mind characters having distinct skills, but maybe the gotcha is like the combo. Maybe that'll be the part where there's a lot of variety. I don't know. That kind of sucked that I had to use the mushroom dish to heal everyone, but it is what it is. This one's not a bad one. Did find a seal. So I'm gonna go open that door. It's somewhere around here. one of these. I guess, well, like, it's symmetrical, so it shouldn't matter which side I approach it from. I think I did an extra step accidentally. Yeah, no, I'm correct. It's like up and back. Maybe. <laughs> Hang on. It's just needed to drop through here. It's something along those lines. Wait a minute. I see. That's not what I think it is. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. There we go. I did not see the, the poor icon on the ground. Trader's signet. Guess it's just a regular item. Might be of interest to a certain merchant. Okay. Well, there's a merchant in these mines here. I guess it's easier to just keep going. This path is pretty much right next to the exit. Mm, 
Okay, I guess it, it'll automatically register. It might be the one back in the town, who knows. Alright, now I can keep going. Wait, really? It doesn't push in? Why not? The hell? Oh, because this is in the way? No, it's just slightly off. Interesting. Bizarre. <laughs> Alright. I need the other one over here too. Oh, no. Okay, can't bring the other one with me. I don't think I've ever seen that before, like a half tile. <laughs> that symbol looks like, I don't know, the Grinch to me. broken to my foot! Are you Malcolmod? Why did you hurt my pet? It's not fair. Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not there with her. What is going on? Playing? You're terrorizing the town. It's just to play, but no one else is strong enough. No one ever understands. Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is not a toy, Malcomod. So you have come to berate me too? I got nothing to tell you. You hurt Rocky. Get out of my fort. Well, oh, the music. This is a comedy battle. Okay, well... This is a problem. I can't stop him. Because I can't- I don't think I can pull off a- Oh, uh, maybe I can. Hang on. No, 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 no. I know how to do this. No, wait, but it's one turn. I can't stop him. Because he's just got heal. Ugh. Alright. Oh my god, it's a Shovel Knight. That's funny. <laughs> the attack is called Shovel Knight. Ignore the pet. Oh my god. I got the feeling he's gonna be the problem, not the pet. Now you're gonna get it. this fire shit okay just focus focus Malcolm mod 
Nice, good block. Okay. Oh, fuck. I love the music change. I won't be able to stop it, unfortunately. Ugh. Okay. Just heal yourself, Garl. You got this. This is why he's our hat tank. in a minute. I'm gonna save Nourish because Team Heal is almost up. Okay. Team Heal is up, thankfully. Oh. I won't be able to stop it. Oh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Nice. My turn. Oh. Still did a lot, it's just didn't get the bounce. Unless you can only do it for one target at a time. Good block. Hey. <laughs> You're very strong. Did people berate you too when you were kids? Is this why you left your village? Listen, Malcolm, you just happened to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one was able to guide you through that. Guide me. Everyone just makes fun because I'm not the same. They say Malcolm Mud can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? It is too boring. I cannot do it like everyone else. Everyone likes it, but not me. Everything was made only for others. And when I try, they say Malcolm Mud is not good. So I give up, and then they say Malcolm Mud is lazy. I really try, but I don't understand. So I make a fort and show them. Ah, It's okay, Malcolm. I didn't have to do like everyone else. Gal is right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You do you. You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with earth and rocks. But everyone says I must not do it. They just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you wanted. Don't you want to try and do good instead? They will only make fun because I am bad with digging. Nah, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. 
It's okay, buddy. Take the time you need. They can stay in the fort. Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, plus your fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well then, can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? Rocky is not a monster. Of course not, look at her. You understand. Okay, maybe I will do good if something big need my magic. For now, I will stay here with Rocky. Thank you, I like you. Take care, Malcolmud. Not bad, Gal. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us, restoring peace to a small town. Still no closer to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the villagers. Surely we can use the lift now. Damn, I thought he was gonna, like, join the team. I guess it's just gonna be these three the whole time. Meanwhile... Time is ticking. Is everything on track with the preparations? We will be ready for the eclipse. Ready and excited too. I fear the sidekick's hesitance is my fester. We should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three, make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. The Solstice Warriors have returned. Has the threat been contained? Malcolm had agreed to stop clogging the wind tunnels. We are safe. Hooray. You should have mentioned your role in this. I... Apologies, brave monk. We struggled indeed to give proper bearings to one of his talents. Well, you all better be more respectful in the future. We might not be there to save you if this happens again. Meh. Understood. You have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we can do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who might help us sail to another island. Oh, in that case, you want to visit the port of Port Town of Brisk. Feel free to use the big lift to the south. You're the ones who fixed it after all. A port town. Surely we can find a ship there. It's got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Oh, I can't wait. There might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. Okay. Uh, let me pop in to see the vendor. There's also stuff to do here because I've got the wind power now. Like, where was it? Let's just see. Well, didn't pop up. Can we just have a normal conversation? No. Okay, it's not this vendor. This dude was not here last time. Oh. Must activate mill. <laughs> Doors open now. Hey, you did it. Thanks, I really needed that. Here's for your troubles. I've gotten multiple of these. What are they? Might interest a collector. Okay. I guess I haven't come across one. My brother finally finished the painting. I can't believe it. How's my health looking? That's fine. 
Do you want more Switch games? Well, you're broke, as a joke, these two weeks. Well, probably for the best. <laughs> In two weeks, there's gonna be more new stuff out. I don't buy games as much now. It's just, unless I'm going to play them. What new stuff? Mario, specifically. Uh, that's coming out in 13 days. There's a bunch of other stuff that's releasing on side with it. It's usually a big day of releases when a Mario game comes out. Mario, um, ba 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 ba. Wonder. I will show the world that us Smolkins can do more than just teal amber carving. Can't wait. My best work so far, but I must keep improving. Oh man, the problem is I remember there's... I saw these stones elsewhere. So it's a question of should I backtrack or not. It might be worth it, because a lot of the stuff that is optional, it seems to be gear. Yeah, Sonic is the other one. Sonic Superstars is coming out. On the PlayStation, I mean, the Spider-Man 2 as well. And, I mean, it's not long before um, Mario RPG and the new WarioWare game is out as well. There's just too much stuff releasing. I don't think there's anything else to do from memory. Metal Gear Solid Collection, yeah, that's another one. There's a lot. Wait, the moon icon. No. Or is that... Hang on, what is this? This is the only thing that's not solved. Oh, is it just this? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well... I'm gonna make the active choice of backtracking. Plus, I could use experience. It's probably not the worst thing in the world to do that. I've definitely found my footing more. It's just there was a little bit of a struggle initially in this area. Well, yeah, I mean, October, November, it's got WarioWare and um, Mario RPG. It's a really stacked next month. And then on the other side of things, like I have been getting into games that have been developed for uh, retro consoles and there's quite a few releases coming up soon for that stuff. Just stuff that's being published into physical cartridges. So I've been looking into some of that stuff as well. I've got the tactic of this right now. These ants were so damn annoying initially, but now they're not too much of a concern.
Oh, yeah, Graham, I got you an analog pocket. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got one myself. They are pretty neat things. Explore this properly. I don't think you can dive or anything. Wait, did I just not get this or did it grow back? I'm fairly certain I went through this path. Oh no, I see, I see, I see. That's just a shortcut back. Okay, but... The main reason I came down this path would still be applicable. Hopefully. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> just ignore it. How do I... Wait. How do I get further back? Oh, man. Okay. Yep, this is it. Over here. It's a rainbow. Oh, okay, I don't know what the hell this does. But I guess I got another one. Um, I think this is as far back as I can go. Maybe. I don't really have any other big games that I'm looking forward to past Mario RPG. I think that's probably it for the year. Unless there's surprises. I mean, there's other games I've been keeping an eye on, like the remake of Risk of Rain. Again, it's just... There's not enough time in the day. So I try not to buy everything. It's just... Buy what I'm gonna play, realistically. I'm gonna stop the gallop. I can't get the timing of this right. hasn't gotten the sunball back. Okay, then let's go with... Whilst not as strong magic-wise, it should still hurt. You work four hours a day, you can see you got time. Must be nice. Okay, well, none of these do anything. I want to solve that, but I guess I need a specific item. I'll fight this.
the ants are just gonna die to the sun, so it's fine. Why can't I get this done? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Just stick to the plan. Every other attack I've more or less gotten the hang of so far. It's just that one that I, I just can't seem to get it right. I know that they stab twice. They fake out a stab twice. And then at some point before the third stab, you block, but I just haven't gotten the timing right. With this, I want a digital copy of the game just because um, PlayStation Plus was giving it for free and I cancelled PlayStation Plus, so I figured I'd actually get use of it before the membership lapses and I'd lose it. And then if I really, really enjoy the game and I think it's just one of these RPGs that I'll want to visit again one day, then I'll get the physical copy when it comes out. I mean, so far I'm really liking it. I think Moonerang is good when you have more than three targets. Or two. In Australia, it's a smarter idea to buy physical anyway. It's just... <sighs> I've explained it so many times. <laughs> but it's something that I have to provide context to constantly, because I get it, there's always fresh eyes. Or fresh listeners. But, to cut a long story short, at some point the Australian economy was strong. Stronger than the US economy, because of a, uh, a recession that happened. So the Australian dollar was worth more than the US dollar and they adjusted pricing because game companies were like, oh no, we need to get more money from the Australians. This is not right. They're starting to purchase stuff from America instead of locally. So they changed prices on stuff somehow. I don't know the logistics of it, but anyway, when everything went back to normal, they just kept digital prices the same way, so... I'll give you an example. The new Spider-Man game um, that's coming out on the PS5 is $129.95 digitally. I, I'm buying a physical copy for $90. <laughs> so, it's like you're saving between $20 to $30 every time you buy a game. Which at that point is just... I get that you have the argument of digital being more convenient, but when you're talking about 20 to $30, it means basically every third game you're getting a free game. It's just, it's stupid. But also, I'm a just believer of physical. I don't know. I think in the long run, I would... It's hard to say. Sony is probably the most trustworthy so far when it comes to digital purchases, but even then, like, they still get rid of stuff. Especially since now games cost 
a bit more than they used to just because of inflation. It makes more sense for me to buy physical more than ever now. Oh, there's a thing here. I just saw it. Okay, how? I would like to get up there, but how? Ah. Okay, this was just food. Alright, so I haven't solved that door. But aside from that, everything else I guess is done here now. Gar's power. I guess <laughs> almost has double health. Hang on. Imbue. There we go. But he needs power now. probably something I'll get to resolve later, I guess. I think I've seen this before. Almost want to give up on that. Jeez. Eat. Okay. I'm just gonna lower the health so then they can. Skills, that, 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 and there we go. Hey. Okay, now I'm content. <laughs> I've done everything. I guess we'll see if going back for that conch was worth it. Lettuce over that. Um. Ah, uh, how am I gonna do this? I can probably stop both. Hang on, that's. Maybe. I can stop the bull charge. I can't stop.
every other attack, I've got him down, more or less. And do you have... no. Okay, then you're up. Ah, uh, not quite. It's alright, it's dead. Alright. Oh shit, this is... Oh, okay. Now I got it. Damn it. <laughs> Nearly got away with it. Uh... Oh, this is just annoying. I can't get all of them. Okay, the best thing... I can't even do that. Fuck it. Okay. Lesser evil. Val's gonna go down. I so decide to attack the same target. Yep. Alright, she's back. I need heals. Nice. Yes, that's the team heal. Okay, that was worth it. That's the team heal item. That's big. Okay, that was worthwhile. Definitely keeping this in, in stock. That's massive. Okay, very happy with that. Alright, now I can proceed. Forty HP team heal is huge. For now. Later it probably won't be as big a deal, but right now. Oh, I didn't go up here. No, oh, yes, I did. I just didn't get this shit. That's the dude that gave me free soup. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked. The Great Summoning. 
Want to hear a story? Okay. What few people know today is that Kanus Nuku had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happening happened. The channel I had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was toward the end of the decades long battle after it became clear that the Malkin mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very scar tore open and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origin of the sky serpent. Some say it is a monster of pure evil stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the Sky Serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the Sky Serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Malkin Elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into Extol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started playing a melody so pure it forced the Sky Serpent into slumber. The magic was strong and it was believed that the world would remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molkin gave up the, on their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment on the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Ovates will return before then. The end. Interesting. It's not fair how people have been treating the oh, Malcolmud. Glad we could help. Good thing the slide mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. It's not fair. Hang on. What was it say? Good thing we fixed the big lift. Okay. I'm saving often. Alright. Down I go. And if there's a tavern, there will be a chef, so maybe I can learn a special recipe or something. Whoa. God, I'll check it out. No way. You've been wanting to see the sleeper since you were a kid, so how does it feel? Like all my summer days are happening at the same time. Haha. <laughs> Adventure life is the best life. We're almost there. Get ready for a swim. I'm just admiring the pixel art now. It looks really nice. Okay, so there's still a bit to go for the port town. Looking for a boat, head over to the port town of Brisk and meet Captain Cliché's crew. <laughs> Cliché. <laughs> They're like... Oh no. I, I can't wait. Whoa. Okay. That's what that does.
Okay. New enemies. Damn it. I won't be able to get this. Okay, well, not necessary. Wait, not that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything until I've, ex I've experienced their attacks. But in the last area, the ants wreck my shit pretty much immediately. Oh, I'm going to the right one. Good choice. <laughs> I'm sure there was a way back up, but... I just saw that that one fell further down. Oh. Okay, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, it would have been doable either way. Man, this looks so nice. There's no complete way to the top. Alright. What can I realistically stop? I guess nothing. each one by one power phase. Ow. Oh, no, they're gonna pick on him again. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could pop the bubble. Are these things gonna blow up? Shit. Didn't do two. No, it's thunder. Way to hang in that. <laughs> Jeez. Have a sand
again. Just sponge. that up royally. The best I can do is... there we go. We'll be fine. Mending Light is not even completely healing Gaal anymore. heels. This is just going to take me back to the start, isn't it? Yeah, this is back to the start. Alright, go back. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Just want to make sure I'm not being taken downstream too quickly. Annoying. All right, I'll interrupt what I can. At least they're doing this pretty evenly. Ugh. Okay, you, you've got the last help. Wait. 
Wait, that doesn't give me AoE, why not? It might be because it's in water, I don't know. Things are looking a bit sketch. Boat, ship, boat, ship, boat, ship, boat, ship, brisk. Hmm. No idea. Oh, I see. I have to fall through. Wait. Just making sure. There will be a purpose to that soon. I would hope. Okay, I see chest here. That's right. <laughs> sort of. And the visual of that looks pretty cool. Bash drop. Oh, there you go. So now the, that's the first combo of Val and Gal. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Well, that is where I'm going to have to leave Sea of Stars for tonight. It's been a couple of hours, so decent progress made out of it. But I'll continue it tomorrow. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you've been enjoying this so far. And if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just hit one of those buttons, like the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help out the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. Or uh, you can check out one of the other videos that have popped up on your screen if you want to watch me play something else. But yeah, until next time, YouTube. Take care.